Steam's recent censoring escapade has made people very, very weary about putting their games on the platform at this point, and if I was considering putting a game with any sort of adult theme, I would be pretty worried too because of how they don't even follow their own guidelines. The Top Hat Studios actually had a game banned on Steam. Their game Cross Love Episode 1 got banned on Steam recently, and they responded by the situation saying that they wouldn't release uncensored games anymore on the platform. And this week they actually had announced that they're opening up their own digital storefront for completely uncensored games. Creating a humble bundle like Storefront, accounts can be made for easier tracking of games, but you won't need one to buy anything. And they'll be selling both standalone games as well as bundles, again similar to Humble Bundle or Indie Gala, I believe it's called, and maybe physical media in the future as well. So I want to read their statement on their website to you because this really helps you see the situation through their point of view and I appreciate this whole statement a ton. Our decision to make a storefront has been something we've been internally circulating for quite a long time. As a publisher, one of our biggest concerns with our products is not just having a set of consistent storefronts for selling on, but a consistent place for our fans to be able to buy our titles as well. To be blunt, things happen, and when things fall out of our control, it may hurt us, but more than anything, it hurts our customers. Inconsistency, incompetence, and numerous other problems are just a few issues you deal with when things are out of your direct control. We greatly cherish our partnerships with all of our storefronts our titles are currently available on, so to be clear, we will continue to sell our titles on these places in addition to our own. Certain stores do a great job at certain things, however we want to create a space which we can rely on internally and in turn create a space for other developers that can rely on as well. We want a place for our fans to be able to consistently find our products and also a place to direct new fans to. In short, we want to step in and fix a number of problems ourselves instead of relying on chance of others will. And they are offering a very standard 70-30 split to developers, and if you want more information like that, make sure to check out their website, it will be linked down below. Studios like these are finally becoming fed up with censorship on larger platforms, and I give them a very, very big congratulations for them for making the decision to stick up for themselves. But I really also hope Steam starts making sure that their employees are following their own policies. Because a lot of us have games on Steam. Since it's one of our main hubs for digital downloads on PC, I mean, I know I have a ton of games on Steam and I know so many people that do. I personally am very glad to see companies like these not just dealing with it and trying to re-censor their games to be allowed on the platform. Steam has even been banning games and declining games that don't even violate their policies. They fix those awful mistakes, but does anyone really want to deal with these problems? We don't know if Steam is actually going to fix these problems with these employees and actually try to make it a better, a better place. You know, I understand that running a digital storefront is not easy, and I have no clue to the true extent of how difficult it may be, but I really hope that the storefront works out for them. They've said that they'll have anime games and visual novels all uncensored, and once it launches, I know I will probably ch personally check it out, even though if I don't constantly play these games and these genres, I'd rather give a storefront like this my money when I'm in the market for one of these games, rather than a store that doesn't even stick to their own policies and doesn't actually appreciate these games. Don't forget, these are pieces of art, something that someone has made, put time into, who knows how long it took to make these type of games. And I'm sorry that this really bothers me so much. I wouldn't even be as upset with Steam if they said from the beginning, like GOG, that they don't want adult content on their platform. I would be 100% okay with them straight out saying we do not want adult content on our platform, we are not allowing that. But I really just dislike when companies flip and flop with their decisions like Steam is doing at this point. It's like they can't figure out what they want to do, so they're letting everyone else reign free, like the uh, employees, and just doing whatever they want, censoring whatever they want. Like I've said previously, I just, I'm not okay when companies flip and flop like this, and I just, I really just hope that they fix it at this point. But that is all that I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Finally, people are getting fed up with Steam and moving on to their own storefronts. Uh, like I said, their website will be linked down below in case you guys do usually play these games or you are interested. But I really just wanted to give a big congratulations and just keep on the fact that Steam is being awful with not even following their own policies. You know, if you like these type of videos in my personal censorship videos, please make sure to give this video a like. It really helps me 
kind of gauge the type of content that you guys want and that you are enjoying from me. This is something I am very passionate about in censorship and such, but like I said, if you like this video, make sure to give it a like, and if you don't like it, just give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either which way, but I hope that you guys enjoyed, and make sure to subscribe, and make sure to, you know, follow all of my social media accounts that are linked in the description, but I will talk to you guys again in the next video really soon. Hey there, thank you so much for sticking around until the end of the video. You should click that subscribe button and there are plenty of ways to show support to the channel such as following me on Twitter, joining the Dark Titans Discord server, or even chipping in on Patreon and becoming a Dark Titan yourself. I'll see you all in the next video.